what's up guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'll be showing you guys how to download fonts and use them in your pixel app so this is my pixel app and these are my fonts that i've downloaded you see i have tons of fonts so we're going to see how to get fonts into your pixel app extra fonts because these ones here represent pixel app fonts and these are the ones i have downloaded so you can also add fonts to your pixel app. we're going to see that so now also be able to share three of my favorite websites to download fonts so if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos all right so let's get into the tutorial all right guys so first thing is we need this application z archiver application is going to help us to extract the fonts from our phone and make it available in our pixel app so you go to your play store and download it and if you need an easy way to get to it the link will be in the description below all right guys so the next thing is you go to your browser and there are so many websites to download fonts for example if you search any fonts now let me say we want to download the ton font tons of websites are going to pop up that has this font so a lot of websites you've seen here we have the fonts one of the websites i'm going to show you guys font space 1001font.com there are so many websites that will show up the font so one of the websites i want to show you guys is thatfonts.com so when you click on thatfonts.com this is thatfonts.com you're going to see the font that you search and you see the download button this is if you know the name of the font so all you need to do is click on that download button once you've downloaded your z archiver so when you click on your download button it's going to download the file and it's done now you click on open now you click open with the z archiver and then you're going to see these materials that represent the font so this is the da font font you click on the file with the ttf you click on the file with the ttf this is just an image png that will show you how the fonts look like and this is a pdf document that will give you information about the font all right so you're going to click on this small letter a here click and hold and it will be highlighted then you click on this arrow you click again on it now the font has been extracted to my pixel lab. so i can rush to my pixel app right now and i search for the tone font So this is the font guys we have it already this is the tone font in my pixel app so that's the same process for all the websites it's just now show you guys my favorite website one is the fonts we've just checked it. this is the fonts.com when you open the website it's very friendly there are so many fonts you can play with it you can easily search for a particular font that you want here in the search bar when you open the website and then you download it you just click on the download button you download it and you extract it the same process another website that i really like to use is my fonts myfonts.com is a great place to download fonts it has cool fonts too but you need to always keep it in mind that no website has all the fonts in the world that's why when you know the name of a particular font you can actually just go on your browser and just search it so that the website that have the font will show you all right so this is my fonts this one has uh, a category that you can use to search fonts so you can either search sans serif serif display script or handwritten kind of fonts click on any of the categories and then you can look at so many fonts and choose the one that you like you also have an option here where you can look at where you click on you see web fonts free font and subscription font I mean, there are some fonts that are not free when it comes here 
So another website that I really enjoy to use is uh, googlefonts.com. Google Font is actually very, very nice. Kind of like my favorite because it gives you information about the font. Like they tell you who created the font, the designer and everything. Okay, so when you search for any particular font on Google Fonts, this is Google Fonts, you have here to search the fonts. You also have the categories. You can choose how you want the font. Serif, sans serif, display, you can untick and tick. That means if you don't want to see any category, you can just untick it. And then you tick the ones that the categories that you would like to see and then also you have language and you have font font properties here all right so for example if i want to download a family font like uh, i've downloaded this font before which one this is a very good font and it was designed by paolo all right so you can see here below the font you see the designer and when you click for example let's talk about this roboto font now let me click on it roboto font is a cool font it's a family font with so many styles okay so now when you click on any font for the first time this is what you're going to see let me i've downloaded this font before that's why i'm seeing this minus sign so when you click on a family font font that has so many styles like this roboto font you're going to see it display like this and you see all the different styles of the fonts you see thin 100, thin 100 italic, all of these styles. These are different styles of, of the font. So the font is a family font with lots of styles. So you're going to choose, when it comes to Google fonts, you have to choose which of the styles you want. If you want all, then you select all of them. You click on these plus signs. So you can click on the plus signs. If you want all the styles, you click on it. Anyone that you don't, click on it just know you're not going to get it in your phone you might have to come back for it later and then when you're done selecting you can see you've selected all the same they are no longer blue you come up here and click on that button and then you see this the font will come up with all the, diff the different styles and then you can choose to add or remove or remove all if you want to remove any of them you just click on this subtraction sign here and when you think these are the styles that you want or if you wanted all of them you can go back and add it if these are the styles that you want you click on download all and when you do that you'll be able to download all the fonts again i've done this before so let me just do it for the sake of this video download the font again just take a minute okay done and now we can open the phone same with our z archiver app and the phone we downloaded was the roboto phone so it comes with a folder since it's a family phone it gives you a folder where you're going to open it and see all the family members to install them in your pixel app so i'm going to click on this spot for one of them click and hold once i remove my finger i can start touching all the styles that i want to extract in my pixel app and then i click on my arrow and i click again to finally extract them now i have the phone inside before so i'm going to be asked to replace or skip so i can just skip or replace whatever I choose I have all the fonts already so if I go to my pixel app now I can find the Roboto family fonts so for example I rush to my pixel app I go to my fonts and I search for Roboto see I'm not even done typing and all the fonts are out these are the fonts all right guys so We've come to the end of the video. I hope you like it and tell me which of these websites are the best for you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. See you later.